Hello and welcome to Musings by Amit. My name is Amit Patel and you are watching the live show Musings with Software Engineers. Uh, hi Shruti, because they told me to learn new technologies quickly, then only they do the increment. Here is the thing. Let's say there is a startup, okay, which started three years back. Okay, so they are using a technology they started three years back. So they started building an application on that particular technology, which was three years back. Okay, and based on that technology, they, have, they now have an application. Maybe they have a product, they have customers and uh, they are doing really well. Now, they are not just going to abandon this technology. Correct. Now, there are chances that this company wants to move away from that technology to new technology. So they will tell their engineers to really learn new technologies, which is a good thing. But what will give you the best salaries? What will give you an increase in salaries? What will give you promotions? Okay. Is not learning more and more technologies. What if you learn new technologies and your company does not use that technology? If you are in a company like TCS, which will have all the technologies, then it's a different thing. But even TCS is not going to tell you, oh, if you learn this technology, then I will give you something. No. You get your increment based on how you do your projects. How successful you are in your projects. How do you perform? I always say that your appraisals are dependent on four P's, four P. The first P is potential. What is your potential? That is the promise you have. And let's say you are a, a computer science engineer. That is the promise you have that, you know, I have the ability to develop software and that is my potential. Okay. Now, you also have the ability to think, you have the ability to visualize, you have the ability to, uh, to understand things. That is also your potential. You have the ability to uh, complete your project, your ability of leadership, you have some kind of leadership quality, or you have some really good communication skills. This is also your potential. So the first P for an appraisal is your potential. Okay, the second fee P for the for your appraisal is your prowess and prowess is your skills. So you have your primary skills. Maybe you know one particular programming language, but within that programming language, how good of an expert you are. Have you read the programming language book five times in the same year? So that now you are so good that there is nothing you cannot do within this programming language. Okay. That is your expertise. And that is not the only expertise. What is your ability to read? What is your ability to write? Okay. Because if you see 50% of your job is reading, understanding the requirement and translating that requirement into code understanding somebody else's code and then making your code and writing writing ability is you're continuously uh, communicating with your manager you are communicating with your colleagues you are communicating with your client you are communicating with so many people maybe you have to present your prototype in front of a large number of people correct so that is your prowess the skills you have which are very important. So that this is the second P. The third P is, what is the third P? The third P is performance. And performance is going to be judged very highly because all the return on investment for a company is based on your performance. Company is paying you money to do their projects. Company is paying you money to complete that product. Company is paying you money so that you can complete this work. Where performance comes into picture, where are you efficient? 
are you are you and how do you become efficient if you're really good programmer i told you the difference between a programmer who's just started and a programmer 2 years after and who's work really hard that will be 10 times the difference so are you efficient can you write code really fast can you uh, solve problems really fast can you debug the code really fast okay can you package a software really fast can you um can you break down a problem really fast the performance your ability your efficiency to do this and then comes within performance the quality of your delivery are you delivering software application that can be easily installed at the client's place without any problem or is your application finding a lot of bugs right at the qa stage because as soon as it finds one bug that means we are delaying the project okay every time you find a bug the project gets delayed every time you find a bug in the project project gets delayed and maybe you write one hour of code and you just do 5 minutes of a uh, review of your code to find out if there is any bugs if you have written everything nicely if this is not going to fail maybe you take help of your qa and find out that when i submit this code this is not going to fail this is what you are expecting and this is what is working that way okay that is the performance part that is the third p and the fourth p is your personality how do you manage along with your colleagues are you a good person to work with okay can your manager trust you with whatever projects he has in his mind can he give you any project and forget it okay that is your personality so this four p's will actually give you the best salaries best promotions and the best stock options okay for companies which give you stock all these things will come amazon has for freshers amazon can have a salary which is very high uh, some some engineers from iit and iits get something like 20 to 23 lakh uh, per annum okay out of which 10 to 13 lakhs will be the base salary but rest will be in form of stock options which will be given to you uh, for a period of 5 years which means that these stock options will become valuable in a period of 5 years okay your base salary will be 10 lakhs per annum or 13 lakhs per annum and if you stay with amazon for 5 years then this will happen but the appraisals will happen if your base salary is 13 lakhs from that going to the next salary from sde1 software development engineer 1 to software development engineer 2 you will to cross that you will have to become better in all these four p's okay when you do that automatically you will be recognized okay and never ask your manager why you are not getting an increment take increment as the feedback if you are not getting a financial increment in your company there is something lacking within your work which you go to any company it will show up okay because you unless you change your work ethics unless you become a person who goes anywhere who goes anywhere okay he will start getting promotion a person who gets a promotion in one company when he changes the company he will get a promotion in another company okay throughout the 23 years of my experience i have always got a promotion whichever company i went to whichever company i have always got a promotion a financial promotion okay and the reason i got the financial promotion because i looked at this four p's very closely and uh, i have said this in earlier uh, videos of mine that i have built a program i have built a very good program which is a paid program okay uh, invisible positions okay how to become a players the rank your company gives you every year you go to this video and watch this video this is a free video this is a free video this is a 13 minute long video you watch this video 
and when you watch this video you will understand uh, what the four p's that i'm talking about but there is a program if you are not understanding what to do then you can do this program do i guarantee that if you do this program will it work for you that depends on how well you do this program you're not going to get a salary increment by doing this program if you do this program you understand this program and you make changes in your life if you start making the required changes in your life if you start uh, seeing what are the gaps within your work ethics you start looking at okay this is something that i can do this is something that i should start doing this is something how i can improve my performance this is something how i can become an expert in the field these are the three things i should become an expert on this is something how i can model my personality this is something how i can create a drive within me when you start understanding all these uh, principles that i have explained in this program and when you start applying these principles then that program will start working for you okay it can work, start working for you uh, from your current appraisal to next appraisal but you will start getting an idea and your work will start improving your work will start improving once your work start improving you don't have to ask for appraisal you will get automatic increments okay uh, i i made it a policy in my life uh not to ask for any financial increment okay uh, sometimes i would debate about my position i would debate about my position but i would never debate about increments i would i would debate about my positions like uh, if i felt that okay now i am doing more work and my position should change okay that is a different thing but i never ask for more money if somebody said how much you are looking for i would tell them the figure but it is not that uh, there was a time when uh, when uh, one one company wanted to hire me they said how much money are you looking for and i told them a figure and they gave me almost 40 50% less than that okay 40% less than what i asked for but i was okay with that because it was higher than my existing salary it was higher than what i was already earning but i was having see all of us want more money all of us want better uh, better job okay everybody wants that okay but then you have to work towards it okay you, if you are not working towards it then it is never going to work okay i hope shruti this answers your question i hope this um was a little bit detailed answer but uh just keep on learning technologies is not going to work yes you should upgrade the technologies based on whatever is within your capacity and the company where you are working okay so if you are working in java programming and they are saying oh now in java you need to be a better java programmer or maybe you need to learn spring and hibernate framework because that's what we use yes you have to learn that you don't skip that you have to learn that if that is going to give you an increment but learn that so well that there is no doubt about the increment okay don't learn just for learning don't learn for knowledge i am going to link all the videos that i have talked about in this video uh, the program that i have talked about a players is also in the description of this video at the end screen you will see some video you can go and watch that video so you can subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you get all the updates 